Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be showing you all the blood sugar displays around my house. And these all work in both milligrams per deciliter and millimoles. And I've got links to all of them in the description if you wanna check them out. There are affiliate links, some of them, and they help support the channel. Let's start with the first one at my desk. Come on in. Don't mind the light. It wasn't staged, I, I promise. This one right here. This is like the perfect one to have at my desk. This is called Sugar Pixel. It's showing my blood sugar levels right on it. I'm at 106. I'm green, I'm in the green range. The number on the screen, it changes colors based off of the ranges that you've set. It would be red if I was low, yellow if I was a little higher than that, and it goes all the way up to pink if I'm super high. Then I've got an arrow showing that I'm slowly dropping. And then this over here is called the Delta. I went down eight points from my last reading. At the bottom, there are lines signifying the five minutes between getting Dexcom readings. Connecting the sugar pixel to a CGM is pretty simple. It works with Dexcom and Libre. For Dexcom, you just put in your Dexcom account and the levels will go right up there. For Libre, you have to actually use the Libre LinkUp app, which is the follow app for Libre. Everything is controlled and set up right on the sugar pixel app. On there, you can connect your CGM account and choose the measurement, milligrams per deciliter or millimoles. You can also change screen brightness and info display. There are a ton to choose from, from large numbers with an arrow and screens with the time, emojis with messages and full color screens. The device even has an option to put two people's blood sugar up at one time. There's also a nighttime screen that gets super dim with colored blinking dots. You can set this to go on at a specific time. You can also adjust blood sugar ranges, which dictate the color information we'll take. Red for low, green for in range, pink for super high, and colors in between. These ranges also dictate the optional alerts, which can be set up on the app. Here you can choose when you want alerts to sound. That's gonna wake you up. There's an auto snooze feature for when you're not home and a snooze button right on top. Aside from audio alerts, there's a vibrating puck included with the sugar pixels. This plugs into the back and it's pretty long. You can put this under your bed and it will vibrate and hopefully wake you up when there is something to address. I love having it at my desk as I'm, you know, Filming a podcast, I can just quickly glance down, see my blood sugar levels and just know that, that I'm good. So that could be a good option for you. Next, let's go over to, let's just go right over here. This is another display. This is called Tidbit. As you can see, it's able to show a little bit more information just because of the size. Tidbit wasn't designed to show blood sugar levels. What's cool about this is it shows a bunch of different infographics from the weather to train times to your YouTube statistics. And it's also just got a very nice look. It's got a wood frame. It comes in a couple different colors. It's an open source platform. So anyone can design an application that goes on this. And a man named Paul Murphy, who's also been on my podcast to talk about it, he created an app for this and it's called Night Scout. The Night Scout app on Tidbit has customization controls from changing the height of the graph, adjusting the ranges for highs, lows, and urgent lows, and measurement units from milligrams per deciliter to millimoles. You can customize the main screen by adding and removing the graph and having the number go real big. Let me give you a little tour of my screen. So I've got my blood sugar right on top. I'm at 106, I'm slowly going down. My delta was minus eight. You've got the time here. You also have those same lines along the bottom that signify the Dexcom minutes. And then you've got my graph here. So I've, I've customized the ranges that I wanted. You can see that I was in the green, I went a little high, and then I came back down. Connecting your CGM information to Tidbit is a little more involved than the sugar pixel. What I used was an app called Gluru. With the Gluru app, once you connect your CGM to that, using either your Dexcom account or your Libre LinkUp account, it will give you a Night Scout link. With that Night Scout link, you can plug that into the Tidbit app, and then once that's in there, your sugar levels will automatically connect to the Night Scout app. Of course, you can use this just to use your blood sugar levels, but there are so many fun apps on here that you can have rotate through, and you can also schedule them. So you can have your blood sugar levels only come on at a certain time of day for a certain period. There's also a cool night mode where it goes completely grayscale. 
no color and you just get like a cleaner look that's a little less bright. Before we move on, let's hear a word from our sponsor, Gluru. Gluru is a collaborative diabetes logger and messaging app for those with diabetes and their caregivers. The app syncs CGM and pump data to keep track of carbs and insulin dosage all in one place. You can log meals, restaurants, and device changes too. You'll also get one-click failed CGM reporting and will never forget a sensor code again. My favorite feature is how easy it makes connecting CGM levels to devices like those. Because it's a group chat app, it's easy to get started. Messages, actions, and alerts are synchronized in your shared log for everyone in your Glue crew to help with managing diabetes. Gluru's alerts are smarter. Only the person with diabetes gets an alert at first, and they're only one tap away from logging a candy to let everyone know they're okay. This is a great way for letting kids build independence with parental supervision. The app supports Dexcom and Freestyle Libre CGMs, as well as Omnipod 5 and DIY Loop automated systems, with more coming. Gluru is available on iPhone and Android for free, and you can download it today by clicking that link in today's show notes to start simplifying diabetes together. This is Glucose. As you can see, it's a little bit different than the other things I've shown you because there are no numbers, there's only color, it glows. And right now, you can see it's green. That's because I am in range. This thing changes colors based off of your glucose readings. So when you're really low, it goes to red, then it goes orange, yellow, green, you're in range, blue, purple, pink, you're very high. What I love about Glucose is the fact that it's only color and for some people, especially children, it's very easy to comprehend what these colors signify rather than seeing a number and an arrow. That is the one difference with this. It's not telling you what direction you're going. If you're rising, if you're rising quickly or if you're going down very fast, you'll only be able to tell kind of what your sugars are, or what range they're in based off the color. On the back, there's a button. And with this, you can choose the brightness. There are five brightness levels. Two, three, four, five. The brightest setting. And kind of my favorite thing about this is I'll be like chilling on the couch, watching a movie, playing video games. And in the corner of my eye, I can see how my sugar levels are. Also, the other day I had a bunch of people over and my friends knew that if I was red, that I may be a little scatterbrained. <laughs> and it was kind of nice having them know what my sugar levels were if I was too red for too long. And actually my roommate the other day, it was red for a while and he like came and checked on me in my room and was like, hey, you've been red for a while. I was like, I know, I'm addressing it. <laughs> and he brought me orange juice actually, which is really sweet. Once you set it up, you'll have access to a dashboard where you can adjust controls. The main one is being able to change the ranges. So you can set a low, a high, and an in-range level, and then the colors will go based off of those. And that's Glucose. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you wanna check out any of these, I've got links to every device in the description. If you have any lingering questions, let me know in the comments. And also, do you want any in-depth deep dives with any of these devices? Let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to make more content on these. I love them so much. And also, happy holidays. I hope whoever you get these for, if it's yourself, you deserve it. This is the holiday season to buy something for yourself. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. That way other people can see it and subscribe to the channel and click that bell for alerts. That way you know when my videos drop because I'm not really on a set schedule for these videos so you can know exactly when they drop if you click that bell. Uh, the podcast is every Monday though. All right, happy holidays. I'm Justin and I'll take you later.